Do you guys see the sunlight? Oh my god, there hasn't been like sun for such a long time, like for a few days now. I opened up all these blinds and let all the sun in because this weather has just been so depressing lately. Cooking up some bacon here. Looky, looky over here. Look how good this looks. Every time I put my spinach omelet inside of a bowl, it just looks so good. Like look at that color and that greenness. Now I'm just gonna mix it all up. So if you guys haven't watched my What I Eat in a Day, my very, very first one, I did a spinach omelet for breakfast. I absolutely love this and I've been just craving it. So I'm gonna make it again today. Make sure you guys watch. I will leave the link to the video up above. So that's my breakfast, you guys. My egg omelet, I used three egg whites today and only one of the yolk. And then I have three slices of my back bacon and I cannot have my omelet or bacon without a little bit of ketchup on the side. Yes, mama? I'm just showing my breakfast. Say hi. Forget it. And of course my coffee. I'm gonna eat this up and I have so many groceries to go get you guys. The sun is so strong right now and my waves are like totally coming undone. I did them like so tight but now they're just like coming out so whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, so I have so many groceries to get so I figured I'd bring you guys with me because I know you guys love my grocery vlogs and always like to see what I get. Yes, mama. Yes, mama. Ben just wanted to be a part of the party. And you guys can tell I have one of my earbuds in my ears because I always am listening to music, especially when I'm making breakfast, cooking, and even just in the kitchen in general. Um, God, my face looks so pale, Ben. Why do I look so pale? I'm also working on a Spotify playlist for you guys. I always had like such a hard time like logging into Spotify. I don't know why. It's always said like error every single time I put in my login information. And I'm just like, okay, so I just like end up giving up. And what I do right now is I download music from YouTube and I just convert it to an MP3 and then I put it on my iTunes music and then I put it on my iPod. Mama's hair looks a little bit crazy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and eat breakfast and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. So I don't think I've ever shown you guys like me getting ready a little bit before going out. So I'm gonna show you guys today. Makeup is gonna be super simple. As you guys can tell, I'm wearing red right now because like I said, the weather lately, like I'm not gonna lie you guys, I'm a very like positive, bubbly person. A lot of you guys tell me like, you're just so happy. I am, but I've always been that girl that's been affected by the weather. If it is gloomy outside, oh man, it's just so hard for me sometimes to just get out of this hole because I don't know, I've just always been like that. But today in the morning I was like, oh God, I was so like focused on how the weather's just been so gloomy. But I'm wearing red because I just need to be put in like a very, vibrant mood. Lately, you guys, I've been getting into wearing more color. I ordered a few pieces from Forever 21 that I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm so excited. There's this one piece in particular, so different than anything I would have chosen, but I'm just so excited for it. And the thing with me is when I see something, like let's say you see a cute top that you really like. For me, I don't know if you guys do this, but I imagine myself in the outfit and I see myself like doing the actual photo shoot where I'm doing like the pictures. I can see the whole entire vision. Like I'm just such a visual person. I also don't know if you guys can tell, but we are in a different room. We are in my bedroom right now. I don't think I'm gonna do like a bedroom video. So I think I'm gonna show you guys just kind of quickly what it looks like. So this is my bedroom, you guys. It has the mound dresser right there. And then I have a very long sort of mirror there that I was using as an outfit mirror before when I didn't have the other room when Amy was still here. And I just have my bed. I love putting this very like fur comforter over top. It's not even a comforter. It's just like a large queen uh, blanket. And I got this one off of Amazon. I can link it for you guys. I also have a little bit of faux fur at the end here. Funny enough, you guys, this is actually a table runner. And then I have my nightstand over here, you guys. Like this big glam lamp behind my bed as well. And my headboard has like some silver studs around it. So this is like very glam compared to my other room where my other one is like so like modern. And can you guys see my vitamin E there? I told you guys I always have vitamin E in every single room that I am. I have a candle over there. It is patchouli. I love, love, love patchouli. It's one of my favorite, favorite scents. I think it is my favorite scent. That's my bedroom, you guys. I just made my bed like that. But when it was like all done up, I had like a gazillion pillows because I love pillows. I love putting like 10 pillows on a bed, but it's just too much work to take them off and on, off and on. So that's just basically my bedroom. The foundation I'm gonna be using today because I'm just doing like a very quick makeup look 
is the Wet n Wild one, Photo Focus Foundation, and I have it in Golden Beige. First, we need some music. When my face just feels kind of dry, like when I put on the foundation, especially with this weather, what I do is I put glycerin on my actual um, sponge afterwards, and I literally just put it over top, and I kind of just go over my face with the foundation and kind of mix it in. It just like right now, I feel like my skin is moisturized. I feel like it's kind of dewy and wet and moisturized. For quick days, I put a ton like bronzer, highlighter all over my face. I'm using this one that my sister gave me. It's called Midnight Sun Highlighter and it is by, who is it by? I never know who it's by. Makeup Geek, yeah, it's by Makeup Geek. Like I'm not kidding you, I put it all over my face because when I just want that everyday sort of glow, I love to put a ton of like highlighter all over. My Bella Pierre contour palette and just grabbing my favorite color and just kind of going here on the corner. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. You always want to look like you're actually alive, you know? Just going to get a little bit of powder and go underneath just like this. And over the eyes, we're going to take a highlighter or bronzer again. I am going to use the same one that I used to highlight with. I'm going to put it all over the eyelid. You just get this very, like, shimmery lid. I'm just going to put on literally a little bit. My absolute favorite for the most, like, natural lashes is this L'Oreal Telescopic one. And for those of you who compliment my eyebrows, Thank you so much. This is my eyebrow routine. Are you guys ready? <sighs> they're so full. I'm so proud of them, like, that they're just so full. Because I hate doing eyebrows, you guys. So if you guys have full eyebrows and you don't even need to do your eyebrows and you love them the way they are, leave a comment down below. Why am I holding the hair? <clears throat> you need to throw this out there. So you guys have probably seen my brand new Teddy Blake bag that I've shown in a couple of my new looks. I am so in love with this, you guys. This one is the larger version. It's the 14-inch version. The other one that I had before in like that dark sort of taupey color, I absolutely love as well. But it is the smaller version. It's the 12-inch version. What I love about this one is that I can carry my MacBook inside of it. So every time I go out to work and edit, I can just put it inside of there. Whereas with the other one, I couldn't really fit my laptop inside of there if I wanted to travel with it or anything. And I felt a little bit more confined, but I do still want to keep that one if I'm going somewhere where I don't want a large bag. But this one is definitely like an everyday bag, especially if you guys carry a ton of things around or if you do similar to what I do, it's definitely something that's really good to have. I love it so much. It's just so classy. I will leave the link down below in the description box, so make sure you guys check it out if you are interested in the bag. Some pineapple. I really need to get on the fruit train, you guys. Okay, guys, so we got a little bit of fruit. Now we are going to get some greens. I need some more of my spinach. Organic spinach, I'm gonna be doing a brand new sort of recipe, so I can't wait to show you guys. And I just love using spinach in everything because it's so good for you. I think I'm like over broccoli, but actually I need some green onion. A green onion, spinach, sweet peppers. Actually, they're right here. Oh, and the shower just started. There's like hardly no one here, it's awesome. So me and my sister tried to do like chocolate dipped strawberries. Oh my God, you guys, they turned out so good. Amy's not a fan, but I love them. This thing just happened. This older couple just started like talking to me because he saw I was like staring at the strawberries. So cute though. I always like attract people everywhere I go. Amy always laughs. She's like, why is it everywhere we go? Like people just come up and talk to you. So cute though. He's like, do you think those are from the United States? Oh man, old people are just so cute. So a couple other things that I got. I got a couple of English muffins. I really need these for breakfast sandwiches. Got strawberries. And I got my tortilla little burrito wraps that I love using. So now we're looking for chicken breast. I think I'm gonna go for this one and it's grain fed. Almond milk. I'm picking some of that up. And right now I need salsa. I think it's in this aisle. Oh my God, there's the old couple again. So cute. He's like, we're gonna have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for salsa and I cannot, like where's the salsa? Salsa, salsa. Maybe in this aisle. Why is it that I'm like blanking out? I'm pulling a dory. And they didn't have my back bacon, but I'm picking up the compliments um, bacon style turkey bacon instead. And these ones are 30 calories per slice and I think it's actually good to switch it up for some reason at Sobeys I find it hard to find the back bacon here like every time I go look at that section I always like don't see it they have the female style but they don't have the um, other one the back bacon I need some eggs you guys because I want to make my breakfast burritos I think I know where the salsa is now 
still looking for it. Oh my god, the old couple again. We found the sulfur. Okay guys, we're all done. I got a little bit of beef slices as well. I found my turkey sausages. I got two packs so I can freeze one. And then I got my chicken breast and everything else, so we're all good to go. Let's go check out and see what the- So you guys, I haven't even been to the gym yet this week and it's Wednesday. I think this weather like does not want you to live your best life. It really doesn't. It's like, stay at home, don't feel like doing nothing. No, no, you don't need- No. Ben? Ben, mommy's trying to vlog. It just makes you like just not want to like work out. Mama! Please! Please, I am trying to film a vlog. Out of the kitchen. Out of the kitchen. You see how he tests you right there? Like, did you see that, you guys? And I told him to stop sniffing my bags and he keeps. Bentley? Aries. Aries. I'm the boss, not you, okay? La jefa soy yo. You guys, that older couple at the grocery store, so cute. Like, they were living their best life. Like, let me tell you, he's so cute. I kept running into them and it was not on purpose. And I would go into the aisle and he's like, funny that we meet up again. Are we gonna keep seeing each other like this? Oh my God, just like, he's just living his best life. Like, just amazing. I just love when I see like older couples like that. Cause I'm like, wow, like you guys made it this far, right? Like, wow, and you guys didn't kill each other. That's awesome. No, but it's, it's so cute to see like older couples like grocery shop together. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna unpack all of my groceries with you guys. I feel like I can finally cook up a ton of meals that I've been wanting to cook up. So the first thing I got was a couple of cuts of beef over here. I think I'm gonna do my black bean sort of Brazilian plate with those ones. I got my turkey sausages, love these guys. I'm gonna do my breakfast burritos with these. Absolutely love them. I do have a recipe on my channel. Just replace the ground pork with turkey sausages or you can do ground pork. Got my almond milk, this is like an absolute must. Got some pineapple, I'm gonna be chopping that guy up. Some watermelon, watermelon and pineapple, I'm just literally going to just force down because I need to just like really take in my fruit, you guys. Like I'm horrible with my fruit. I'm on this like healthy weight loss journey, but I'm horrible with fruit. I love vegetables so much more. Then I got some sweet peppers. These are also for my burritos. Some turkey bacon instead of back bacon to kind of switch it up. And chicken breast. Chicken breast is going to be in the new recipe that I'm going to be doing. I think I'm going to do this new recipe in a new what I eat in a day because I know you guys love those. I got some dark chocolate at the very end. These Hershey's dark chocolate chippets are called. So cute. 70% cocoa. So it says per 15 pieces, 70 calories. Um, so I'm just going to, as like a little snack, I'm going to melt some of it and just dip some strawberries. Funny thing with strawberries, you guys, I have to tell you, and I wonder if any of you experience this, so let me know down below. Every time I have a strawberry, my stomach, it like, it, it inflates, it bloats, and I get like a pain in my stomach. And I've looked it up, and um, when I looked it up, it says that some people are allergic to the actual seeds on the outside of the strawberry. So funniest thing ever, those chocolate strawberries I showed you guys all the time from Dolce Dips. She does the most amazing chocolate covered strawberries, like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, but every time I have hers, I don't know if it's because it's covered in chocolate, like the seeds are covered and the peanuts are covering it. When I eat hers, I don't get a stomach ache. I don't get it. Like every time the, the strawberry is covered by something, like with chocolate or something, I don't get that stomach ache. But if I have a strawberry by itself, I get like hella bloated and I instantly, like it's not even, it doesn't even take half an hour or a couple minutes. Literally, I will eat it and I get a tummy ache, like it just hurts my stomach. Always been like that ever since I was younger, so I think I have an intolerance to the actual seeds. I don't think it's the actual strawberry because I've I've had like 10 of those chocolate covered strawberries, so it's not that, but I think it's the seeds. So if any of you guys experience kind of the same thing or you know what that is, please let me know down below because I'm interested in knowing. Then I got some organic eggs over here. I am horrible at checking if any of the eggs are cracked, but definitely make that habit, you guys, when you guys are buying eggs, make sure none of them are cracked. Thankfully, none of mine are. Some Dempster's English muffins for breakfast sandwiches. Got some green onion for my new recipe. Strawberries, these ones are huge. You guys, the organic ones, they were $7.99 per pack. And these are 
I only try to buy organic like when I can because it does get really expensive you guys I only choose like certain things that I buy organic if the price is like kind of fair got my favorite favorite tortillas the homestyle ones by Sonora love these ones and these were the only two that were left there these guys are always like almost sold out um, and yeah, these are for my burritos and also for my newer recipe as well. Organic spinach, like hell yes. See this I will get because the price is not that big of a difference, but yet it's organic. So I will buy something like this. So I got this salsa from them. Compliments, mild, chunky salsa. Last but not least, ketchup. We are like literally running out of ketchup and I wanted the one that has this top instead of the like old fashioned top. Is this top like, the heck's wrong with this top? It looks a little bit. What the hell? Whatever. Better not leak. Anyways, so yeah, I got some ketchup as well. That's basically it. You guys, the fridge is packed now. My shelf, like I don't even know where to put everything else. My peppers are up there. It's because a lot of it like needs to get chopped for my recipes and all that. So I am just going to prepare that later on. I so I think I'm gonna head off to the gym right now. I have the time, it's Wednesday. I only have two more days left in the week and I'm busy on Friday. So today and tomorrow is the only days I can actually go to the gym. So I'm going to make my way there. Um, I feel up to it. So I think especially when you feel up to it, like go and take the advantage and go to the gym and do it. Um, and on the days where I don't feel like I really wanna go, I either, I either won't, but make a promise to myself that I'll go another day, like I'll pick another day. So don't ever like just settle and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna go today or the rest of the week. You know what I mean? If you want my opinion and my recommendation, I always say, okay, not today, but you know what? I'm gonna go Wednesday and Thursday. You know, always make that promise to yourself and that's something, that's a goal, that's something to look forward to. Um, what was I gonna say? I just lost my train of thought. Hate when I pull a Dory moment. Um, Oh yeah, so when I don't really feel like going, I'll do like an at-home workout downstairs instead of going, actually going to the gym. And at the end of the day, I know that I've actually put some effort in instead of doing like absolutely zero. That's also another tip if you guys are looking for one. So yeah, I'm going to quickly get changed and head over to the gym. And then I have to come home and edit a brand new video for you guys so that it gets ready for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If your grocery list is kind of similar to mine or you guys are gonna pick up a couple of the items that I showed you guys today, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you guys and I will see you next time.